ETV. Has there been, um, going back to some of your beats, what was like the, the most surprising pass on a beat that somebody did? Like, uh, you know, everybody's heard like D12 passed on in the club from Dre and stuff and when it went to 50 and blew up. Has I've had been, like, a lot a of those. I mean, I could... Is, I there, could... is there one that like stands out like, damn, uh, game pass or 50 passed this record? That uh, yeah, well, become... 50 actually accepted. There was a beat that I did with Fat Joe uh-huh. and I made the track in front of him and I was telling him this is a hit record. And even his wife, Lorena, I remember her. She was there in the studio. Wow. She was like, Joey, this is kind of a hot record. And he was like, nah, it doesn't sound like a hit. And I gave it to 50. And uh, he heard it know? and loved it and wanted it. And I called Joe again. I said, Joe, this record is getting ready to go. I'm warning you. Just letting you know. And he's like, do what you got to do. And then, you know, maybe eight months later, I remember him and his wife again sitting in my studio. She was like, I told you. I told you it was a hit. What, what in a it? candy shop. Wow. Yeah. But where, where do you see the state of, of hip-hop being? You've kind of been through several areas and voltage, like the last generation and stuff almost too, from starting with the roots to the whole last decade to now. Where do you see the state of hip-hop at right now? Honestly, I'm hoping that it becomes more organic and more like, you know, the uh, you know earlier years in, you know, in hip-hop because I think that the down south stuff, even though I, I'm a big fan of a lot of stuff that comes through, I just think that it's sort of made the parameters of what it, music can be mm-hmm. so small because yeah. you're stuck within a certain tempo, you're stuck within a certain yeah. amount of sophistication in the music. And I don't know, I think people are willing to try, like, you know, there's different yeah. stuff now and people want to be surprised and not feel like we've heard this before yeah what's it been like now that artists know you're back you're working your mind is clear and all that stuff what's been the reaction for, from artists there's been a great response and support coming from all different places and I've been people are quick to calls. turn their back man no they are you know? but I think everybody loves a good comeback and, Absolutely. and I think that you know if people see that you're, you know, they need to see results before they jump on yeah, the man. team. Like, Nobody's going to believe you until they actually, so you have to actually succeed before you can get them on the I, I on think the you're team. in that position, though, where musically you've been able, it's not like you just came in at one time and made one specific style of music. So I think no, now I'm 18 you're, years in the game. Exactly, which is crazy. So it doesn't even seem like. Hopefully you like, can forgive me for two years, you know. <laughs> exactly. So where's Scott Storch 10 years from now? Scott Storch is probably going to be scoring a movie somewhere. Wow. On an island or something. I don't know. <laughs> If there's one thing you haven't done in your career yet, what is it that you want to do? Um, I want to make some solid records one-on-one with Jay-Z. Okay. You know? And we worked nice. on so many things together before. But you've never like, done... like Murder, Murder, and this and that. But yeah. they always go different places. Yep. Or like even this record I'm doing with Dre. And, you know, millions of scenarios and yeah. situations. He wrote Still DRE with us. Yeah, that's right. I remember. All that stuff. I want to make some records with Jay. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think you can make that happen. I think it's going to happen, definitely. That's what we do. Scott Storch, thank you for stopping by. Thank you. Sirius XM Hip Hop Nation, DJ Ski Scott Storch, we out of here.